Hey everybody, this is a quick video. Uh, right here I've got a Volkswagen Beetle 2.0 engine and uh, I got the car from a co-worker and their daughter overheated the engine and uh, damaged the engine so they got another car and you know they were gonna junk this so I took it you know just to see what's going on. Uh, I ended up junking the car but uh, one of the things I wanted to show is uh, the damage uh, that can be done if you overheat an engine and I didn't take the head off or anything like that to see if it's warped or anything like that but I'm just going to show you a couple of things I guess you know if you get your uh, the light on your dash that says you know low coolant or that it's overheating it's important to stop and I'll kind of show you some of the damage that can happen so right here and I took this off already but right here this is a plastic cover that was on the, uh, the cylinder head and right here you can actually tell how bad this thing melted. I mean, it melted on both sides. Uh, here's some other pieces. I mean, it just pretty much melted all the way. Uh, right here, and it's kind of hard to see, but right here, these are the remnants of the plastic. So actually, right now just melted and it's stuck there on the uh, cylinder head. It might be a little bit hard to see, but well, maybe. So you can see all the plastic right there that it melted. Uh, Another part here that I noticed is when I took off the water pump, right here is all the uh, leftover uh, antifreeze. I guess basically it crystallized because you know it was on steam. Uh, right here, this is the water pump, so you can see all the crystals here. Okay, right here. So, this pump is pretty much, just goes to show you the neglect in here, in the engine. Uh, right here, this piece, this was, <laughs> uh, this was actually in here. I guess this was a gasket or something, I don't know, I've never really worked on a 2.0 engine. But this was right in here. And after I took out the water pump, I took this out. I mean, this is pretty much as if you uh, burned it. I mean, I don't know how hot this engine got, but, you know, this is just what can happen if you, if you keep driving when you have no coolant. And you're going to basically, I don't know if this engine is rebuildable, rebuildable or not, but you damage it where it's going to be either A, not uh, worth it fixing it, or B, you're probably going to have to, you know, redo the heads and the block if it's warped. And that's if it can be done. Or C, you might have to just toss the engine. But I just wanted to show you how bad this got. So, you know, make sure uh, you keep tabs of your uh, lights on your dash. If you're low on coolant or if you're overheating, stop, add water or whatever the case is, just temporarily just to get to your destination. Or stop, get a tow truck before you cause some damage. So... Hey, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this helped. Have a great day. So this is the second part of the video. I took apart more of the engine, and I just wanted to show you a couple more things here. Uh, I think this video really should be probably the most neg neglected uh, motor ever. <laughs> uh, so this was where the water pump was. I mean, everything. You had all the plastic, everything. Uh, when I took off the cylinder head, I mean, the coolant passages actually had plastic in them. Uh, basically plastic that melted from the top of the cylinder head uh, the cover so when I look in the oil pan uh, this was all the oil that was left in the car uh, or in the engine so and right here you actually have little metal pieces here so I mean yeah definitely the engine is toast but you know I mean there was basically no oil now what's interesting right here if you look at the oil pickup um, tube well right here you see plastic that actually uh, you know uh, melted around the bolt but right here this is the plastic from the top this actually went all into the oil pan so most likely this engine was uh, overheated they kept driving it uh, things started melting dropping down into the oil pan and uh, started clogging up the engine until it burned off all the oil so I guess, you know, a word piece of advice, if you're going to give your kids a car, you really need to double check everything, you know, make sure it's got coolant, oil, do the oil changes on time. 
because you know if your kids aren't maintaining it this is what's gonna happen I mean this engine is totally shot nothing left of it I mean it's gonna go it's gonna get recycled but uh yeah so this is just uh what can happen I mean this plastic is oh whatever so um hope you found this video interesting thanks for watching